So where the aperture out I'm around 100 D. It's daylight balanced. There, there's another one which is 100 X. That one has two. Uh, your friend is saying two color spectrums or whatever they call it, which means I can go up to tungsten as in yellow light like this, and then white light. So this one is slightly cheaper than that one. But the thing is, you don't necessarily need to buy this one for good videos or nice videos. Rather, the theory of getting softer lights makes for better videos. So you need a, a, like a soft box. And the soft box too, sometimes it can be like, uh, you see that 5 in 1 thing? <laughs> Yeah, if you can find a way to hold your 5 in 1 and put light through it, it will give you soft, yeah, yeah, soft yeah. light. So, because if you don't have a light like this that has what you call the Bowen's mount, which means that you can't use a soft box for better light. So usually, you set up your light. I mean, I prefer to set up my light first before I position anything else. So yeah. And if you don't have lights at all, if you don't have lights at all, always rely on your window. That, that's what I wanted to ask. If you don't have lights, what do you do? Yeah. So can you, can you demonstrate something so, for them to yeah. see? So rely on your window means that if you have a window, a big window like this, don't shoot with the window at your back. That means that you'll be dark. Yes, you'll be silhouette. You have to face the you have to, Yeah, you have to face the window like this and then shoot so that you get soft lights. And you have to make sure your background is clean. <laughs> yes. That, yeah, that's one thing that people... Yes. People, <laughs> your, your background, most people shoot and they realize that it's like they didn't care about how the background looked. Yeah, they were just thinking about the big lights. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another thing to also note is that it's good to have enough space between you and the background. But if you're using a phone, for example, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because if you're using a the phone, there's no way you're going to get... Uh, Everything will be in focus. Will, will be in focus. You're not going to get that shadow thing because yeah. you don't have a lens that shoots. Unless well, maybe a 12 Pro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But 12 Pro doesn't shoot video with blurry background. I think it does so. Uh, yeah. hey. I don't have Samsung yet. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and another trick is that if you have a camera with interchangeable lens, it's also nice to shoot into a corner. Mm -hmm. If you don't have enough space, shoot into a corner. corner. It's better because if you shoot flat, you won't get like separation, blurry background. So that's one of the few tricks. And it's also advisable to put something there. Yeah, that's this, what call, this is what you call the practical light. This is what you call the practical light. So if it's in your background, it will serve as some kind of illumination there to see that oh, where, the, where, the, where the person is sitting there's a light far yeah. behind him and that's what tricks the eye to that's what they, they say what is this cinematic <laughs> cinematic yeah. <laughs> yeah so that's uh, for the lights with the sound with the sound what, what, what do we have so this is my studio this is where the magic happens yeah this is where I function so with the sound you can either use a short uh, gun shotgun microphone like this one because me, for example, I record my sound separate from the video and I edit the sound before I synchronize in the video. Okay. Yeah, so but it's not my force. I know. <laughs> it's not my force. So if you have a shotgun microphone and you want to record direct into the camera, camera, then you connect it direct to the camera. But for that one, you have to have a lens that is very wide so that you can sit very close. Because with sound, the farther you are from the sound source, the more hollow it sounds and True. it doesn't sound nice. True. So that's why when you see me and Mo recording, he's holding the sound and he's pointing it at you. Pointing it where you go out there. I'm yeah. Really it. <laughs> so with sound, that's what you do. I don't have one of uh, me and Mo's microphones. You have. You actually have a better one. No, but this is shotgun mic. Yeah, the mic. If I tell you what I'm using, you'll be surprised. It's, wait, isn't the go... Uh, uh, uh... Guys, I'm going to blow his one right now. Zoom H1. You have the zoom. This one is H1 or what? You use a Zoom H1? Yes. <laughs> ah, I a E. Yeah, Zoom H1. <laughs> Covered with a dead cat. And yet, and yet, um, Road Wireless Go. No. Zoom H1 recorder. Way, way fast born. Way fast born. Bye, you know. <laughs> hey! <laughs> wow, okay. So, um, what we're going to record is um, uh, the interview. I only need the light because you brought your camera. Yeah. 
don't think that I need to use any of yeah. my stuff here. Do you want to use the Sigma? Or you have what, what levels do you have? I, I have the same Sigma. Okay, you have it. And but I'm not using it. You're not using it because of uh, full frame. Yeah, it's no, it's a nice one. You won't get the vignette when you shoot at 24. I guess small, small. But I'm, I'm, I don't know, now I'm in love with my old 50mm. Like, I, I, I'm just in love with it. So that's what I'm the using 50mm is something you can't do without. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 5D Mark 4. But Black Magic did. <laughs> Black Magic. No, but 5D Mark 4 is like one of the OG. Come on, see, you're holding 5D Mark 4. How long have you had this? <laughs> oh, since 2019 or so. And you come in here and come and tell me that. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm Whoa. <laughs> Zoom! <laughs> Zoom! Which <laughs> one? Like. <laughs> let, 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 me, let me show you to them. Let me show you to them so they can. Oh, 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 oh. The oh. back cries off. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But it's. it's it, no, yeah. see, the, the issue is. The issue is not the gadget, it's knowing how to use a gadget. Yes. Yeah, I mean, granted, when people say that um, gear doesn't matter, it's a lie. It's a lie. It depends on what you want to do. It depends on what you want to do. For somebody who, like me, I, I do like filmmaking professionally, mm. as in documentary films or whatever it is. So you can't tell me that gear doesn't matter when I want to do a certain level of quality. It matters, Papa. It matters. But for the use of YouTube and whatever it is, using a camera like the Black Magic Cinema Pocket, it's overkill. It's an overkill. Because. Nobody can tell what camera That's you true. use, except that maybe if you know how to do your lighting, you know how to do your sound, they'll say that oh, your video is quality. Mm -hmm. But they can't tell whether you use or, or Black, Black Magic. Magic. But when it comes to film, the difference with film is that when it comes to film, it means that, for example, if you're using your 5D and they call something dynamic range, whereby uh, your the difference between your highlights and your sh uh, your shadows. So if you can have somebody visibly clear in, like the, the way the, in the eye comes yeah, in, in the shadows as well as seeing the background also visibly clear that means you have good dynamic yeah. range so that's the difference between what you may see on netflix and other places as compared to youtube when you sit and there's a window behind you <laughs> and it's all white Fight. yeah that's true so gear matters but when you have the what they call the prosumer or consumer level and you know how to use it it's, it's all the same it's all the same so each one yes <laughs> that's what we are using today <laughs> so yeah the light is um, set it's set okay we have our soft light uh you lift it as much as you can you watch out for what the light is and usually when you're setting up your light on a light stand like this you make sure that you make sure that the the leg this part is um, standing out in terms of your so that it can't okay. go forward. Okay, I get it. If you, if you set up like this, it can easily fall. fall. Yeah, so you make sure that this part of your light. I think actually it should um, it should be in alignment with the this thing. Yes, with the, the softbox. softbox. Yes, so that you have good lights. So today this is where we're going to sit. We're going to sit here. This will be our background. background. Yeah. Okay. This will be our background. Not bad. So, like I was saying, with the principle of shooting good videos, if you have space, that's if you have space. Make sure that the background is at least five feet from you, depending on what lens you're also using, so that you see that there is that blurriness. Blurry, yeah. yeah. If you have a lens, people people prefer to have their background very blurry, and this is going to get a bit technical because with with what they call f-stop. So if you have a lens that has, they call it fast f-stop, yeah. because it's a fast lens, it means that when you hear something like 18 to 35, 1.8, it's a fast lens. Yeah. If you hear 22 or 24 to 105 f4, means it's not fast. It means that when you use it in a space like this, you may not get a blurry background as much as somebody who's using an 18 to 35. True. So if you have the money to spend, that's if you have the money to spend, 
it doesn't matter if you don't have, like, have it. Even the F4 can give you blurry background, but it will not be as blurry as, as 1.8. Yes, but it's also fine. I mean, it will be unchill if <laughs> your background is not as blurry. And if you're shooting outside, that's when the 24 to 105 comes in handy because that one has uh, enough capacity to, yes. to shoot outside. And the fast lens becomes useless. Unless, becomes useless because unless, it's too bright. Unless you have ND filter or something. Yeah, and for example, with your 50mm, ND filters are not common. Yeah. Yeah. So Udra is useless. Useless. <laughs> with shooting indoors, it's good to use light like this because with the window, for example, it only means that you can shoot at a certain time of day. Even that would even that, that one, one you'll be there and all it will get cloudy yes. and then you've lost <laughs> yes, light. Yes. So it's better to always have light that is continuous light. You you set it up, it won't change no matter the weather. Mm -hmm. And you just use that one. But you don't have to buy this particular big softbox even though it's better for recording such videos because it gives you soft light mm. and separates you from the background but if you can't afford this me i do a lot of susu <laughs> <laughs> that's a big man work <laughs> i do a lot of susu before buying all these things and also like i said i was going into filmmaking so I had to do a lot of research and buy things that I will need that can serve both purposes, whether I have client work or it's my personal YouTube. So, yeah. Why is this guy letting me talk like that? Okay, so we are. Yeah, we're, we're gonna set this yes. up the camera and then start the interview. And then later on, I'll probably continue a bit more with some of the items you may need in terms of recording good sound and all those things. But we're not going to use that one for this particular video, but I'll still show you yeah. good sound and recording good video. They call me an animal Cause I've been waiting for That truth untold in my life That's why I press for more Don't know what I've been through But I keep my head high Chase high And that's why I say confirmation Future jubilation